Part 6, done. Um, have I done it all? Yes, I've done all of Part 6 on here. There are a couple of problems with it. This little tiny um, L-shaped bracket on the other side is missing. That's because when I picked it up, it flew somewhere. I don't know where, but it flew. Oh, I don't think I'll ever find it. Not a big problem. A bit of, a bit of a problem, but not a big problem. I've actually made up another one here in plastic card. Uh, the other problem. Oh, hang on, let's be, let me just hold this. How can I hold this out of the way? Without breaking anything off. That's the trouble about these ones. They are very delicate. The etched brass part here, it bends like that, it comes down, and then bends again out, but it's on a slight angle from the top half, so it's not parallel. In the instructions, there is no drawing to show you how to bend this. There's no, say, bend it at 2mm, 1mm down, bend it back to a X number percent of angle, it doesn't say that. Nothing. There's nothing there. It's basically bend it. That's it. That's that's all they do. Bend it. Uh, and it's basically guesswork. Uh, I haven't able to find any videos where it shows the chassis on its own. Better the truck over the top. Can't see it. Um, when it's turned like this on a model that's pre-built pre I've found spare wheel covers it up you can't see it so it doesn't really matter that much I don't think as long as I do know that the end of this piece of brass should touch the wheel rim that's the only concession I'm, I'm going to make it's, it, it is going to be re probably Maybe have to be unbent slightly, so it's actually just touching the the real rim, and then I can, then I'll be happy. But all of them are like that on the model. This is where I want your help, if I can, if or if anybody can. I've got some etched brass pieces here. Let me just find them here. It's right to the page, which is this one here. Now this is a J section, straight down with a small half loop turned on the bottom. Does anybody, can anybody tell me how to do this in etch brass? Uh, there's no written instructions on this that actually tell you um, about the etch brass parts, and there should be, there really should be. Um, again, it's throughout the bill it's going to be like that for the etch brass parts it's not going to tell you any dimensions whatsoever i've been through it uh actually i might put it on the forum as well uh, see if anybody can help me out on the forum uh but i've got two pieces one on the side to do with that and that's much later in the build so i've got time to try and figure out how to do that if nobody can tell me um again here the handles no dimensions how big is this hole in the handles got to be don't know guess work you know, uh, actually are they handles I'm looking at them are they handles or are they latches for the uh, that's the point are they latches for the are they latches for these canvas parts I think they might be actually Again, doesn't tell you. There's nothing here in, in, in here. So, how big are these? How big are these handles being made? Oh, latches. I don't know. It's very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. Uh, hopefully, I can figure this out. But for now, that's it for the chassis. Right. Here we are, the figure. I don't know how good this is. It looks pretty well in focus, okay. Right, here's the figure that I've done. I've, I've converted him from a sitting figure to somebody who's just stepping up onto 
the truck itself. Now, it's not terribly difficult to do this. If you cut through, just put a saw through, saw cut through this leg here. I leave a little bit on the end because uh, I found this is by accident. I, I didn't cut through, and I bent it to take it off, and I noticed it. But when you cut through these, not quite through, you get this effect when you bend them out. You get a wrinkle on the, on the knee. Very, very good, a good way of getting a wrinkle in there without having to actually build one in. Um, it looks quite lifelike. By the time I've given it a bit of sand down, I had to leave this to dry last night. So, um, by the time you're giving it a sand down, paint over, you, you'll think it's a wrinkle like normal. Um, when you've opened it up, you're left with a deep V. Now you could fill that with filler, but to tell you the truth, the, the filler inside right in the centre, will not dry, it will always be soft. So the best thing to do with this is to get some it, get some old tree pieces, carve off some flats on it and then glue it into the V section here like this. Now again, I've done this last night while it was still a bit dampish. Um, so I've put a couple of pieces in here to fill the gap up. I'm going to carve those down and then what's left over I'll fill and that way the filler will dry. The same with the top of the leg, the hip. I've cut it off through here, cut a piece off the back of the leg at about 90 degrees and then move the leg back so that that new 90 degree cut is actually glued to, to the torso again you're left with a big gap in the front here fill it up with a bit of sprue you can fill it up with anything you like but I, I use sprue um, basically you get it on the kit it's free doesn't cost you anything and it's the same plastic so it all conforms nicely I'm gonna have to cut this down a little bit and looking at it I've got let me just get a knife here I'll show you what I've done the top on Russians uniforms actually it's quite a long like like those t-shirts you, you you get sometimes where they they come well down below your waist and then they put a belt on them excuse me I'm dropping it now. they put a belt on them to pull them in that means you've got sort of a, a, a sort of a skirtish piece at the bottom now what I've done is I've taken where it's joined and I've cut a piece in there and I've carved that piece out of there because I've got to recarve this down to his original um, hip size and then I'll get a piece of this thin plastic card as you can hear here and I'll cut a piece out and I'll glue it in there and fold it around to make up that skirt again because it's actually got to hang straight down on this particular leg where it's bunched up on this one that's why it's been carved off uh, same with the other figure right. as for the second figure what I did again not much work has to be done on this one the the legs are actually bent out at, at quite an angle here as he's sitting in the truck so what I've done is I've, again I've used the razor saw I've cut through the knees now I've moved them back this time, closing that gap up. Um, there was enough there for me to do it. I, just, I didn't need to move much, just a little bit. So I glued them back up in that position. The other thing I've done with this is I've moved the arm around and I've got a little bit of carving work to do on the arm just to, to, uh, to marry in all the folds and uh, that on the arm. I also cut the hand off and turned it through almost 90 degrees, not quite. Now, I'm having him sitting on a, a stump or a crate or something. In This is the drive of the, of the vehicle. Now, he's just driven on these 
it's just driven the kitchen staff and the kitchen itself to this location so he, so they can feed the troops. So he's been working. So he's at, he's he's sitting down having a cup of tea, maybe a sandwich as well. So I've made a cup for him. I moved the hand around. I've chopped the thumb off. Move that round to a better position, as you were, as you would hold a cup, basically like that, like this. To take a drink. In the other hand, I could put a sausage or something. So I rotated the hand. Next thing, obviously, I've got to make a cup up. Actually, it's quite easy, very easy. There's two bits you need. Um, one. Again, is a piece of the tree. You pop this down here. You get your pin vise. Now I used, basically, let me just check the uh, dimensions here. Uh, a 1.6 drill bit. So they're in the micro drill box. And I drilled out the end of the sprue after cutting it square of course um, and then I cut it down to what I thought would be a decent sort of tin mug size and as you can see it you can see it here now there's a hole I drilled in the top as you can see the other thing is the handle that goes around the outside now, the best way I know how to do this is what I do is I use the same plastic and again I, I take off a sliver there we go and that as you can see has already made the handle basically uh, just square it up uh, cut it down a little bit because that's too wide and glue it around the back of the hand to the mug. The mug I've already glued to the hand, to the, to the back of the hand anyway. So, and that's as far as the conversion work on the figures have gone. 